special guest. We got Pretty Gang Reef. Pretty Reef and this motherfucking bitch. For people that don't know you, tell them what you be doing. Uh, yeah, my name Pretty Reef, bro. I got my Pretty Gang with me. You already know what I'm talking about. Got my nigga Pretty Pat, Pretty Tico, Pretty Drizzy and shit. Got my lady Pretty Lizzie. <laughs> I'm a skateboarder, man. That's my profession. I'm trying to make it skateboarding. That's really all I care about. Skateboarding. Everybody else can have that other shit. Yeah, for the people that know who, what a uh, pretty game is, tell them what it is and what it stands for. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a skate company. It's a, a raw, 100% Atlanta raw skateboarding. Like this is real skateboarding. Like you really get down, really get them tricks, really be out here filming, taking trips. Real skater shit down to the last T, down to the last meal. Like, yeah. real skate shit. Yeah. We eating off these clips. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I feel you. Yeah, who, made, who came up with the name Pretty Gang? I came up with it. It was 2015. It was after school. Yeah. Like, when I got out of school, I graduated. My mom was like, you got to do some shit. Like, you're not just about to be in this house just not working and not doing something. So I'm like, yeah. well, shit, number one, I got to go harder with the skate shit. And then number two, I'm, I'm shit. People already told me that they got my back if I start some yeah. shit. So let me yeah. got down, let me run some shit right quick. So I was just like trying to think of a name. And I remember I was on FaceTime with my lady and I was like, shit. I was like, what you think of the name Pretty? And she was like, shit, yeah, that shit, that shit nice. That shit sound nice. And I was like, yeah, Pretty. Like you can have Pretty on anything. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like Pretty Podcasts, <laughs> pretty, pretty Phones, Pretty iPhones, Pretty Reef, Pretty Shoes. Pretty feet. I feel you. So is it pretty skateboard or just pretty? I stand for as pretty as B and the S B stand for skate bitch. Skate bitch or skate bitch. <laughs> yeah, so pretty skate bitch. Yeah, that's dope. That's dope right there. So Hell yeah. So you yeah, the owner yeah. of the of the company? Or just yeah, a whole CEO. bunch of boss man. boss man. But we all CEOs yeah, I though. Feel you. How many is y'all in on pretty game? <laughs> a lot. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot of niggas in pretty yeah. games. Probably that's like, located in Atlanta or all across the United States? Uh, Atlanta and Florida. Like, though, it's just, just where the key of home base is a pretty yeah. game. It's a pretty SB is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, got a lot of skaters in Florida? Yeah, we got the gang in Florida. We got the pretty SB squad in Florida. And then we got the real gang here. Like, the real gang in Florida, too. But the certified, this is where it started at. We got it from the bottom gang here. Yeah. I seen you did. Yeah. Um, um, did you go down there for a pop-up shop or something like that? In Florida? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was like, that was a couple years ago. I know that was, um, shit only started two years ago. So shit, that shit, that was like, yeah, last year, I guess, in a sense. It was cool. It was for my homie, uh, Trevor. Trevor. He actually got this new company called Fugazi. Fugazi. That shit hard. He coming up with some crazy ass designs. It's a skateboard company? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or streetwear? Both. Both. Yeah, both. He fucking with skaters and shit, but went down there for that pop-up shop. We had turned up. Uh, my nigga had performed P Rico. Shout out P Rico. Got them. Yeah, we gotta get us on. Y'all ain't got no more of those grits heads left. No, them shits gone. What y'all handmade them or spray painted them? My yeah, Trevor spray painted them. We did the collab with him, Paradox. Y'all sold down on them, yeah, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Them bitches were dope. So what made you like, you know, pick up a skateboard shit and start skating? Mm, it's like when I moved to Atlanta, I was ten years old, and then. I was walking through this like complex and like all this shit foreign to me. Like I'm like looking and yeah. like, I'm just walking through the complex. I'm seeing pools and shit. I'm like, these niggas got pools in their complex, like workout in gyms and shit in their complex. I'm like, God damn. So I'm like every complex around here like that. So I'm going to the next one and the next one, like looking like, oh shit, what can I do today? Like whatever, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And I see some skaters and I just saw them skating <laughs> and they were skating off this bench and I felt like they wasn't really talking about shit. And then I was like, well, shit. I was like, that shit look easy as fuck. What's up? Like, y'all niggas landing that shit. Yeah. I'm like, so easy. Why you don't try it? Like, try that shit. Bust my ass. Definitely bust my ass. Hell no. But, like, I kept trying that shit, and they showed me how to do that shit. And it was just, like, just riding off, like, a uh, a bench into the grass and shit. Yeah. So, by the end of the day, I did that shit. I came home and told my mom I want to be a skateboarder. And I was like... Did you have your own board or did somebody let you borrow one? They let me borrow theirs. I ain't had my own board till I was like... till like two years later. But I was still trying to skate, so I was borrowing other people's boards. Like, my homie had a mongoose board. I was borrowing his board. You said a mongoose? A mongoose skateboard. Isn't those are a bike? It's a bike, but this nigga had a board. It was a board. It was a mongoose board. And I was borrowing that shit for like a good year. 
And then I was just trying to just skate on anybody's shit. If I'm down the street walking, I see somebody skate. I'm like, yo, let me, let me, let me tag his shit right quick. Hell yeah. Like two years. Did you start off with a good board? Fuck no. You had one of them um, Target brands? Target, Walmart. That Spitfire shit? You never had one of those? Spitfire boards? Yeah. No, it's a Spitfire. They used to sell them at Target. You don't know what that is? Never heard of that shit. It's I, yeah, I used to fuck with the Kryptonics. It had a like, little logo. The dude was made out of flames and shit. He was made out of like, like, like flames and doesn't want water. Water drop. Oh, that was uh, World Industries. World Industries. Oh, I thought it was called Spitfire or Them something. Them shits was fancy to me. I wish I had one of those. I never like, you know, I, like niggas call certain boards real or fake. Like boards you get at Target and Walmart and shit. Yeah. Like those are some fake boards. Like that's what they used to call them. And then niggas would have real boards from skate shops. I ain't never see a skate shop till I was like twelve or thirteen. So I was like, damn, like, like I wish I wish I had like a real board. Like my first real or board myself that I had was like a Kryptonics board my mom bought. Yeah. And she I bought that shit for like Christmas or some shit. And I remember she bought it for me for Christmas. She was like, But you can't skate on it yet. I'm like, Mom, I just got the board. I'm trying to skate on it. And like I couldn't skate on that shit. And I'm like, what the fuck? And then when I bought it, it had like these things that cover the trucks on that shit. So it, it was like trunk. you can't you can't skate the board in a store and shit like that. So you have to like take it off or like peel it off. Yeah. I didn't know that I was just outside trying to skate on that shit. Damn, that's crazy. I was like, shit. Shit, what I was gonna say. You think the skate culture in Atlanta's dying down? Fuck no. No. Nah. You don't think so? In a way it can, yeah. I definitely I definitely think it like it it can in a sense, but we here to bring that shit back up. Like, we see how niggas been moving. Like, we see how, like, the old niggas move. We the young niggas. Like, the youth about to take the shit over. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. shout out to the old niggas. They done taught us some shit. But we about to come in and really, like, do it for the next niggas. You know what I'm saying? Make it better for the next niggas. And the better the next niggas going to make it better for the next niggas. Goddamn. Man, when a couple years ago, when everybody used to skate at Broke Run a lot, it was a lot of people skating in yeah, the streets and shit like that. And I don't yeah, know, like you better no see people competition skating. nowadays, and like no like, no unity and shit. Like niggas be acting weird sometimes and shit. Like and like yeah, just like growing up and being young and shit like that. You go like I used to look for contests like on the computer. I used to search up like like whatever year it was like 2013. I searched up 2000 contests in Atlanta in 2013 just to go to some shit or just to like believe or think about going to some shit because my mom didn't have a car. And I only could go somewhere if I was going somewhere with my friends or some shit if my mom would let me. So yeah. I'm just looking up shit and hoping that I can go to shit. But I was used to see shit, yeah. But nowadays, you can look up that shit, like, contest in 2018 or 2017, that upcoming contest. Like, there ain't shit about to come up. I think the only ones that come out, like, contest is Ambush, ain't it? Yeah, Ambush. Then they got the Damn M. And then the Damn M going because Hazard Clothes. And then, yeah. You never entered that little ambush shit? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You never won that shit? I don't think I won any of them. It'd be a lot of good skaters on there? Yeah, they'd, they'd be cramming. They'd be cramming. Hell yeah, man. What I was going to say? What's your, like, three sickest tricks you ever landed? Oh, yeah, probably this, um... Or definitely this trick that I did in California. In L.A., uh, it was, like, the second time I went there. You been out there a couple times? Two times? I've been out there three times, but the second time I went there, I went out there and cram. I was really snapping on some shit. I did this trick. Uh, I ollie these like 15 stair with these poles sticking up. I don't know if you've seen that. You seen that shit? It was your pretty game video. Did you put it on there? Mm 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 mm. Nah. It was like this whole big thing or whatever with like Thrasher Mag, all that shit. But yeah, it was cool. Like it was like when I seen that shit, like it's a skate spot that they put up these barriers so people can't skate the stair set anymore. Yeah. So I was like, it's on a 15 stair too. So they put like these big ass poles like this high, like gapped away from the 15, from the last stair of the 15. So nobody yeah. can skate it. And I seen that shit for years. So I was like, shit. I was like, I don't know. I could do that shit. Like when I get older, if I go to Cali, like I can do that shit. Like I'm a snap on that shit. Like all the skaters I'm pretty sure in Cali were like, oh yeah, this is possible. But who's crazy enough to do it? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, who crazy enough to really do this shit? No. You went out there to skate in Cali? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How long you be staying out there? Shit. It depends. Sometimes it's like a really like set trip. The second time I went, or the first time I went, it was like, yeah, we bought our, our plane ticket around trip and shit. 
Second time, it was just one way, and I was going to figure out how to get back, whatever. And that shit worked out for the best. Damn. I turned up out there. That shit was wild. Mm-hmm. What I finna ask you about the skate culture is, well, like, why is it hard, like, to get to the pros, like, to be a pro skater? You got to get your respect, and you got to earn your stripes. Like, this shit don't come easy. Like, with any, it's like we're doing anything, like, any sports or anything like that. Like, you got to earn your stripes. Like, you're not about to just go play catch with your dad and then be a fucking star or some shit. Like, you got to run. You got to be on the field. You got to try to do this, do that. You want to be this and that and the third. So, like, skateboarding, it's even harder because niggas are, like, like skaters are dickheads in their own mind, in a sense. Like, every skater know that they have, like, some type of, like, ignorant, arrogant dickhead in them. And it's just skate. It's just like if you're a skater, you got it. Like you, you know what it is. Like you just a skater. Like oh, it's like oh, that shit doesn't look good, or this doesn't look good, or these kids don't skate right, or some shit. You know what I'm saying? So like, mm, yeah. Everybody that's pro, like you got to They work for that shit. Like you got to really goddamn. What if like you know somebody? Would it be easier to get in? Like you know, pro like get you in quicker? Uh, I mean, with being pro, you gotta or you gotta. It's like levels. Because you got to get flow, which just means you're like, you're getting free stuff from a company, no matter what company it is. They're just giving you free product to wear and rep their company. And then you go AM, there's three three levels, flow, and then AM, and then pro. When you go AM, that means you're getting paid by your sponsor, your endorsement or whatever. Yeah. They're paying you this amount of much, maybe even weekly or monthly or whatever, to do no do no do And you'll probably sign a contract as well. And then pro, that means you have your own pro signature model of shoes, whatever you're sponsored by, skateboards, yeah, hats, all that shit. Hell yeah. Yeah. You never going to, when you going to come out with a pretty game like a uh, reboard? Oh, hell no. We ain't doing no board. Damn, why not? Nah, I don't want to do no boards. I just want to do, yeah, clothes. And I like clothes. Like I made this jacket, this jacket five. Oh, you made that? Yeah, yeah. I embroidered this, uh, this. You made that too. yourself? Yeah, yeah. Hey. But no, for real, yeah, bro. I'd be really on that shit too. Like, I'm a nigga really into fashion and shit. Yeah, like I was that. just about to say about that. I see you working with a couple of brands with this fashion shit, like streetwear brands. Yeah, yeah, like just like shooting with them and stuff like that. Like my homie, uh, Bonnie. I fuck with him. That, that shit with the bandana, uh, right? Yeah, he going crazy. Yeah, I seen just that shit. Just for some bandanas, uh, they. Yeah, I fuck that with him. That shit dope as hell, though. He cool as hell, bro. He's a cool ass dude. And what you like doing? Collab with them, or you just like model for them and stuff like that? 2018, we might definitely have some shit coming, but I just be like, yeah, modeling and shit. They taking off that what it seems. Everybody in the street wearing that shit. Yeah, niggas been fucking with that shit. Ain't even a year, and they got everybody rocking that shit. Yeah, yeah. He know a lot of folks. Like he been like he really been in the game. Hell yeah. yeah folks. So you say you ain't coming out with no boards, strictly like what clothes? Strictly clothes and accessories, and then maybe if I ever feel like it, I like I do a board, but. It's not, not, boards ain't fun to me. Like, the clothes is fun to me. Like, wearing shit and, like, showing people, like, boom, yeah. boom, like, this clothing is cool. Like, this shit is fun. You know what I'm saying? So, who, like, be designing? You do or as a team, everybody comes with ideas? I do. And then now we kind of really more gradually getting more into, like, the whole team getting, like, giving ideas and this and that and the third. So, we 2018, we definitely going to be working together more and more and more, but... I just, I like, for a second, I used, I just wanted to try to, like, keep it for myself so I can try to just focus on what I want and figure out what I want to do first before I have everybody just jump into it. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I came, I came up with one design, but that's it. But we got the pretty logo and shit. We about to have some for, like, this winter collection we about to drop. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, my lady too. made a design, too. You said what? Yeah, going to have hoodies and stuff? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got this hoodie right here. Oh, shit. I see that shit. Oh, right that there. dope as hell. Yeah, that shit. I've been looking for plugs that do that shit on the side. On the side? Yeah, yeah. That's nothing, bro. I'll sleep for this shit. up. Oh, I'm playing. I got you. I got you. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, yeah. That's nothing. Like, screen printing is nothing. You say your homeboy do that, right? Like, screen yes. printing for you? Yeah, 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 yeah. How many every time y'all drop? Like, how many y'all be making a mm. lot of them or just a little bit? It's really just a tease. Like, sometimes we make some sample shit, too, and then just some just to give to the gang. Yeah, just be printing a few inch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see y'all got a big fan base, man. Yeah, I just like to have fun with the shit, bro, because it's just the fun shit. I don't like being serious. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I like, I like being serious when it's time mm-hmm. to be serious, but 
if I'm doing some shit and I have a, a passion for it, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna have fun with it. Like I have a passion for making clothes and like designing shit and like trying to like put creative thoughts together and shit and skateboarding and all that shit. Like I love this shit, so I'm gonna have fun with this shit. If I ain't having fun with it, I'm done with it. You know what I mean? Hell yeah. Why you don't reach out to like um like shit like bigger people and shit like to put your brand out there and like do collabs with them? Cause I don't I don't care about that shit. To be honest, yeah, I don't really care. Cause like that shit easy. Like we could do that shit. You could do it yourself, really... huh? Yeah, but I know we can do it ourselves. Like niggas can, yeah, like get this and get that and get this too. Like, like it's gonna be a good look and shit. But like, we'll do that shit when we're ready to do that shit. Like when it falls into place. Like I ain't trying to rush it and be like, bro, when we get this shit, we're gonna be on. Like this, let niggas be opportunists out here. Be like hard and trying to just doom 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 hop on any bandwagon they can. Like nah, like trying to get that clout. <laughs> yeah, yeah, fuck that shit, bro. No, we just trying to chill, have fun. Like we gonna do us and. We're going to do some collabs 2018. Niggas going to see the collabs. Niggas going to be like, damn, that shit crazy. That shit crazy. Hell yeah. And it's what you see is what you get. So I hopefully them niggas get that shit fast. Well, it's a new year. You saying it goes up for 2018? Bold statement. You heard it from me. <laughs> you heard it from me. I say it on my live right now, too. I ain't even going to do a lot. We're going to do a snap. This, this is the biggest goal of 2018 right here. Biggest goal. All right, you ready? We sitting down with motherfucking goddamn creativity in the motherfucking podcast. If niggas ain't making it in 2018, we ain't making it at all, bro. That's on me. That's on my lady. That's on my mama. That's on my cousins. That's on my goddamn my gang over Facts. there. That's on everybody. If we don't make it in 2018, that's on Audi Moss. That's on T Hump. That's on Trey K. That's on everybody, bro. If we don't make it in 2018, mm-hmm. niggas ain't making it at all. Cause that mean we ain't work hard enough to get where we want it to be. You know what I'm saying? Like we could do way more every single day to work hard enough to get where we want to be. And it's like, niggas get, gonna get caught in the grind. You can get caught in the grind, but we not caught in the grind. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know what a grind time is. I know what shine time is. I'm a shine every time I grind. Yeah. But if I ain't making it in 2018, I ain't making it at all. Fuck it. We going all the way in 2018. Hey, it's a ball statement. We gonna live up by that shit, too. You got gonna drop more videos on you, too? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, can I intermission this shit? My nigga, David, I um... <laughs> Oh shit, my nigga. Tell him just come on in. Oh, just come to the door. Come to the door. Or one of y'all can go fuck with him right quick. Yeah, Jersey about to come outside. Jersey? Yeah. Well, yeah. What you say about the videos? Y'all coming out with a whole bunch of more videos? Hell yeah, we're gonna come out with some videos. We ain't doing like no like big full length videos, or maybe we might, who knows? We just be taking it by, that shit like, dope, by the swing, by the wind. Yeah, we be taking it by the wind, but uh we about to actually drop a little edit pretty soon, too, and that shit about to be fire. Well, like the whole team going to be on it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Y'all need to get into YouTube. That where the money at. Oh, yeah, yeah. We into that shit, but it's, it's like, it's hard to get the money because we be trying to use some fire-ass song. Like, we be using fire-ass oh, yeah, music. they be copyrighting that shit. They be having the copyright yeah. shit, and we be like, damn, if they ain't have the copyright shit, we'd have some little bit of change right there from the YouTube. Let's check. I, th- I think you can only do like 30 seconds of the songs. If you do more than 30 seconds, they'll copyright your shit. Oh, uh, for real? Yeah, but like YouTube don't copyright it. It'd be like uh, like a Kendrick Lamar song. Yeah, yeah. whoever like he signed with, they gonna copyright your shit, not YouTube. Oh, uh, it's like, like like the label, like the label. Yeah, like the label. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. it'll tell you like when you like uh put up like a uh, like a video and shit. Yeah. Click on settings on YouTube. They gonna show you. They gonna got a little C. You know the copyright term or shit. You click on it. If they gonna tell you the his label such Bro, that's and such. That's crazy. Technology is crazy. <laughs> They like you know. Let's say you making money on YouTube. Basically, after they copyright that shit, you are not making no more money. They are making all the yeah. money now. So basically, they give you an option like delete the video or take the sound. You know the music of that shit, and you don't do that. They're going to take all your money. Yeah. Damn. Hell yeah. That's crazy, bro. Technology is crazy, bro. It ain't even really about technology. No, it is, bro. Cause we had a song. It's like in the, the prettiest type of system they got on YouTube. Like, like they pick up like your song. They pick up the song. They know it's like some sh- yeah. sh- sh- Shazam shit. You know that shit, Shazam. No, what that is? It's like an app, and you could press the button, and it's oh, like that it'll tell you what song. Yeah. yeah. It's like that shit. Like we had this one song, and uh, I think it was pretty. Yeah, it was pretty three. It's called Rodeo. 
I forgot what the beat is though. It's by Kodak Black. Um, he motherfucking uh, like he did this song to this beat or whatever. It was somebody else's beat, but it came up as the original song just because it heard the beat. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It was copyrighted or some shit, so that's why we couldn't got them do the whole ad shit or some shit. I don't know. I seen like once you hit like what a thousand subscribers, you in there, bro. You start getting money off that shit. Yeah, probably. You just need to come up with a new goddamn software to compete with YouTube, bro. Mm-hmm. Get rich off the air. Yeah, start a whole new YouTube. Goddamn. Somebody gonna have to to put pressure on yeah, them. Yeah, facts. They gonna have to, bro. Start a whole new Instagram, too. Somebody need to bring Vine back. I'm ready for Vine. I think they said they're going to bring Vine 2 back or something like that. Vine 2? Yeah, I seen it. Vine is going to be called Vine 2. Vine 2. <laughs> I seen it. I don't know if it's true, though. I'm about to fuck with that shit. I'll fuck with Vine. Yeah, I used to have crazy uh, ass shit. So I've been seeing you with goddamn with a lot of rappers and shit. You ever consider yourself rapping and shit? Like getting on the track with somebody? Oh, yeah, yeah. I be making music and shit. like. I don't know, I ain't gonna call myself no rapper and shit, but I be making music. Like, I've been making music from, like, shit. My cousins grew up rapping. Them niggas was, like, and had a little rap group when they was young and shit. I remember I tried that shit, and I was like, oh, hell no. And then just growing up earlier, like, I was, like, probably, like, I was young. I was, like, five or some shit. But just, yeah, growing up in Atlanta and shit, like, you just around the music all the time. Yeah. And I know niggas that make music and shit, so I'm like, damn, like, just pulling up to the studio, having some fun and shit like that. Recently, I did make two songs. I got these two songs with my nigga named Trey K. Trey K. It's one of the artists I managed. She fire. That nigga fire. Don't you got, like, a SoundCloud playlist or some shit? Oh, uh, yeah, I got a SoundCloud. I'll be dropping music on my I think I heard one of the songs. It's like one artist you got on there. I think his name is down, like 1900 Astronaut or some shit like that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Astro, Astro. Astro be snapping. Yeah, he fuck with a pretty gang shit. Yeah, yeah. I like bloody. That's one song crazy. he did, like a Young Thong shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hi, Jeffrey. Yeah, that shit dope. You got to fuck with him. You got to fuck with my brother, Audie Moss. is my blood brother, Audie Moss. Uh, and then fuck with Trey K and then fuck with Wavy Chief. Them the pretty gang rappers you need to fuck with. All them. Are they pretty gang? All of them? Yeah, yeah. They be fucking with the shits. They go crazy. They be snapping. Hell yeah. You mm-hmm. be doing a lot of shows in Atlanta, right? Yeah, You be yeah. hosting them? Yeah. Every show that I do, I host them bitches. Y'all be pack, huh? Be having them bitches thick as hell. Y'all gotta pull up some one of them hoes. Yeah, I need to. Shit, yeah, y'all consider tripping, to like doing like sponsoring up. like a little mixtape and shit for all the artists you be with? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... Yeah, like doing like a pretty game mixtape and shit, like a pretty SB tape. I just yeah. started SoundCloud for pretty SB. For it's called Pretty Records. So pretty Records. Follow that. Niggas gotta follow that. You gotta just of be artists. dropping music from uh from the pretty gang artists and shit. Some of the skaters make music too. My nigga Drizzy be making music. Really? I make a little bit of music. David about to get into the shit too. So yeah, it's really the just gonna team. be <laughs> a whole team really just hamming going hard. Like this year is the year of yams. Like if you ain't yamming, what you doing? Yeah. Yeah, but yeah, on the tape, if I was to make a tape, we're going to have a gang on it, and then the real artists, the artists, uh, Artie Moss, Trey K, Wavy Chief, I have Astro on that bitch, and then, yeah, that's really it, that's really it. the rappers, like, I corely, corely fuck with, like, that's in my circle type shit. Yeah, it's just going to be strictly hip, hip-hop? Yeah, and wavy shit, like, some, like, smooth-ass shit. No rock, no other shit. Mm, no matter of fact, that's just speaking of rock. My nigga, uh, my nigga, my nigga Lewis in a band, a rock band. <laughs> it's called Trash bro. Can. I seen that shit when y'all had the, uh, did a contest. Bitch, I had a rock band. They was <laughs> going crazy. Yeah, they I was going crazy. Niggas was bleeding. Yeah. Niggas left out the pool bleeding. They, they performed at the skate park. Yes. No, they weren't fighting, but it was just like a mosh pit oh. while we was throwing inside product the and shit. Yeah, inside the pool. <laughs> and they was performing inside the deep part of the pool. So yeah. this is the deep part and this is the shallow part. So these niggas going crazy down here performing. These niggas up here moshing and catching product and shit. Fine. They just snapping, They're snapping, snapping. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's dope, though. Damn. Yeah, do, yeah. you need to come out with, a little, yeah, like I said, like a sponsor mixtape or whatever. Oh, yeah, we definitely will. We probably going to do that shit 2018. Really, goddamn. Hell, yeah. I can't even hold you. My niggas be about to drop some mixtapes too. My nigga Chief about to drop a mixtape. Chief, yeah, he from Atlanta. Uh, nah, that nigga from he from around the way. Around the way. Yeah, he from Arizona though. 
How do y'all be coming up with these shows? That just like be who it really yeah, be spontaneous. Like I said, like everything we do, just we just have fun with it. Like we're not pressured to be like, bro, we yeah. gotta do this this time. And if we don't do it this time, we're gonna be fucked up. Like yeah. I just be like, damn, I'm trying to throw a show, I'm trying to turn up. Yeah, Cause yeah. everybody else moves be trash. So I'm like, shit, I'm trying to I'm trying to make some money. I'm trying to turn up. Let's go. Hell yeah. Boom, boom, we'll throw a show, hit up the artist, boom, boom, boom. Do who down with the shits and then just go from there. It'd be like free or you gotta pay? Uh, to get in? Yeah. You got to pay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right sometimes it'd be 5 before 11 and then Jeez, 10 man. after 11. Nah, so that really ain't nothing. but just charge it's, like a dub straight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some they niggas going to be wanting to pay for the dub, though. Some folks don't. It depends. <laughs> it depends what artist you have, and it depends, like, where you at. Because, like, if I go to L.A. and charge 20 for a show, yeah. niggas going to pay that 20 at the door. Like, L.A., they pay that damn currency yeah. is different than yeah. the Atlanta currency. Like, the folks is cheap here. Yeah, yeah, yeah niggas bro. is finessing. Niggas trying to finesse in the goddamn in the venue and all that shit. So, like, hey, I know you. Let me get in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this nigga hit me on Twitter and he was like, bro, like, on the last show I had, he was like, bro, he was like, Reef. He was like, bro, let me get in the show. I just came down here for blah, blah, blah. I was like, I was like, uh, yeah, it's $5 to get in before <laughs> 11. So, I was like, make sure you get there before 11. Yeah. And he was like, he was like, bro, what? On Twitter and shit. Yeah. Like, DMing me. Bro, what? It's like, nigga, do you know who I am? He's like, nigga, he's like, I be, I hang out with all the artists you got on all your shows, bro. He's like, I don't give a fuck. I'll pull up for free. I get in for free. <laughs> Damn, I was bro. like, I was like, bro, what? I was like, bro, yo, bro, cash can't pay for all those talking about you got them. You a rapper? You this? Yeah, you that? Niggas be chump change, yeah. bro. Oh my god. It's just fire, bro. That's yeah. what a blunt right now. Yeah, these Five niggas out. is haters, bro. These niggas are getting smoked out on their own guys. Hell yeah, baby. Like I don't know. Like they don't. I guess like you said, they want everything free nowadays. Yeah, and just, shit don't come easy, bro. Yeah, shit like, don't come easy. Competition, shit. That everybody. If it ain't free, you ain't gonna get that much people in there. You know. Yeah. That should be crazy though. But I think twenty eighteen we're gonna do. I want to do some free shit though. I can't even hold you. I do want to do some free shit just to get back type shit. Like, probably, like, do, like, a listening party if one of the artists come out with a tape or some shit. Or, like, it's a party. I'm, I'm trying to throw a house party. I ain't throwing no house party in a minute. House That's party. where it all started. Like, what pretty you, parties. What y'all finna get a bando? I mean, shit, nigga, if we could, goddamn, <laughs> we would. I, was, I promise you, we had a sweet location. We damn sure would hit the bando. You gotta go with, like, they just built in the neighborhood. Nobody there. Yeah, facts, facts. Yeah, yeah. We got to everybody pull up down the street, though. You can't pull up in the front. Yeah, you can't do that. So you gotta pull up all the way around the corner. We gonna walk in a single file line to get to that bitch. What <laughs> you talking about? You gotta walk through the woods and shit to get there. Hell yeah, well, I got the shortcut. Follow me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How does it feel though? Like from going like like going to competitions and you making your own competitions, like your own contests and whatever. Damn. How does? Shit I ain't never really think about it like that. Yeah, but to think about it like that, that's just crazy. I don't know, feel that good, shit crazy man. as fuck. No, yeah, that like shit do said, feel good. Like you said, you like, you know, look for, like, concerts and shit in Atlanta. Now you making them, like, fuck Now, yeah, up. now I'm making it happen, yeah. like, myself. Like, yeah. The first contest I threw, too, was at Brook Run, my local skate park, because I would always want contests to be there at Brook Run, because yeah. that's my local park. Like, I'm a yam that shit, so. And then I did it there. And that shit was successful, bro. That shit snapped. Yeah, a lot yeah, of people hey, came bro. out. Even if they didn't skate it, like I told folks to come out, just have fun, just watch the skaters. Like people like watching skateboarding. Like that shit cool as hell. Yeah, so yeah. I find that shit interesting myself because like I'm just like, damn, like this shit can be like way this shit for skaters. Yeah. Like pretty as be this shit for skaters and this shit for people that don't skate. Yeah. That like skateboarding or just like the culture, you know what I'm saying? Or just like how we how we running shit right now, like how yeah. we moving and shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, basically like the new wave of Atlanta, like on some skateboard shit, like mm -hmm. ain't nobody doing you no know, bigger than y'all and shit. Yeah, they yeah. They got that pretty much unlocked. Yeah, we got the streets unlocked. We trying to keep that shit and gain and maintain. Hell yeah. We're trying to gain and maintain. I need to do a little tour, goddamn. I'm ready, bro. I've been saying, I've been telling the gang, I'm like, bro, let's go on tour. We got to go on tour. Yeah. But we just got to keep snapping, though. We got to keep snapping. Like, folks know us. Like, people know us in Europe, Paris. For Some nigga Snapchatted me from Japan. It was like, pretty gang, pretty gang. I'm like, damn. damn. Worldwide. Some people in South Korea sent me a box, too. They fucking with pretty gang. For real. Um, just like, yeah, like, all around the States, too. United States, boom, boom, boom. Canada. My nigga Pat went to Canada. They set him up nice in Canada. A drift skate shop. It's a skate shop in yeah. Canada. He fucked with the gang. Saw my nigga Pat. Pulled up. Boom, boom, boom. Gave him a lot of shit. 
That shit fire, bro. Like, niggas be showing love, too. Like, I don't know. We gonna show love back, too. Hell yeah, y'all got to. Y'all see, y'all be giving free shit out, right? In the little contest? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we did a contest with Low Key not too long ago. Yeah. We was throwing product, product toss. I skate, the skate plug was there. The skate plug was there. Yeah, and then, I don't know who else sponsored that bitch, but yeah, we was in that bitch. His had to be throwing free boards, huh? Low Key? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They be throwing boards, yeah. Yeah, he came a long way, too. Hell yeah, shout out them folks. Hell yeah. I'm gonna say, what's like your best three skate spots in the whole Atlanta? In Atlanta? Yeah. AT&T getting fired by the time, like by the, as I get older and shit, cause remember when I was little, I ain't fuck with that shit. That ground rough as fuck. So I was like, bro, what the fuck? Like I'm trying to skate some smooth ass shit. There's a little spot where like, the why the fuck everybody wanna right? skate here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, bro, why the fuck everybody want to skate here? Like, all the older niggas so late and shit. I was like, bro, I like this shit. But I started skating there. And the more I skate there, I get better and shit. My board control get better and shit. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. And then, yeah, I like that shit now. Like, it's so much shit I can do there. But that's, like, your best spot? It ain't the best spot. Nah, it's a bunch of spots. Niggas got a bunch of spots. Another spot I like, um, I don't know. I like the big four. The big four or five. Big Five is five. I ain't really do nothing on the Big Five. I know y'all Ollie North that bitch, but that's really it. I try to switch from eighty. That shit got broke off. Why y'all just don't make y'all like your own little skate spot, like a DIY bot spot? Yeah. Damn. Like low key, like nobody else. Yeah. Just y'all and then like a few people know about that shit. That shit would be cool. Yeah, yeah, y'all need to. Yeah, Didn't yeah. They have like would. a uh, skate park under the bridge that burnt down. They did, yeah, yeah, them folks I didn't did. Know about it was like that ramps shit. and shit. They had like training and shit like that. It's like, yeah, they had like pools and shit too. Yeah, that was tripping on folks though, trying to like, if if you ain't like, no folks, like, if you just knew about the spot and went there by yourself, like, they yeah. would trip on you. But if you knew somebody that knew the person that made the spot or helped make the spot or some shit like that, yeah. they'd be like, okay, come through, like, da da da. But if you went there by yourself they, and you got caught there or some shit, yeah. and trip. And I'm like, what the you fuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They I you went out. there. It was like, hell no, 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 no. We went there. Nobody was there. Yeah. And then, yeah, we were skating in that bitch for a minute. But then I posted like a video of me and Pat skating there yeah. on Instagram. And everybody started going. And they was like, dude, take this down, dude. Oh, pretty gang, pretty doo doo doo. I'm like, I'm like, bro, what the fuck? Like these old ass niggas and young, young ass, you ass niggas just wilding. I'm like, bro, none of these niggas won't see me though. These niggas aren't so they, seeing me. The people that really made that shit. They were tripping on you? Yeah, like, uh, not even the people that made it. It was the people that was trying to hang with the people that made right, the yeah. spot and shit like that. Like, trying to be like, oh, let me help, dude. I'll help you, dude. Da, 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 da. Like, the dick riders. Yeah. The <laughs> dick riders was coming at me talking about, da, 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 boom. like, take that shit down. And I'm like, okay, boom, boom, boom. It was really over with when that shit was on the news. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, a, it was a wrap. Everybody wanted to go to that shit. I think they closed yeah. it down, didn't they? They tore it down? Yeah, they, they had to turn that bitch down. Shit, that's crazy. I got another spot, though, called North Druid. It's by my house. Is a, I'm saying, y'all, y'all the one made it or what? Nah, we didn't oh. make it, but somebody made it, and then it's like this old little parking lot and shit or some shit, and like the wood area is kind of like you got to go through a little bit of woods yeah. to get there. It's fine. It's cool. I like it. Yeah, that shit yeah. nice. Then they closed the other one, too, that be on top of the bridge. What's that shit called? On top of the bridge. They got that little black and white checkerboard. Oh, yeah. They just closed it down, and then folks thought they was, like, really closing that shit down for good. Yeah. And then it's called Black Box. Oh, yeah. yeah, Black Box. There you go. I thought they was closing down for good, but it ended up they was just doing some renovations or some shit like that to it. Is it open back again? Yeah, it's back open, so skaters be skating there. Shit. That shit cool I just to warm like up. like, the number one, like, everybody know about that shit. Yeah, that like, shit OG. Been skating on that shit for years, so. Yeah, that shit OG. Hell yeah, man. Mm -hmm. That shit crazy. You ain't sponsor? You ain't get a sponsor yet? Oh, yeah. No, I'm sponsored uh, by Nike SB. Nike SB? For real? Yeah. And yeah, crazy. yeah. That shit fire. And fucking awesome. Awesome? What that Fucking do? awesome. It's like a skateboard company. It's like one of the five skateboard companies in Atlanta. Like, in the world. Yeah, that shit fire. I heard. I thought y'all made that shit or some shit. Awesome. Oh, huh? that shit been out for the longest? Oh, how yeah, long fucking it? awesome. Yeah, it been out for a minute. Yeah, yeah, Jason Dill made that shit. Yeah. Like, for the niggas, I know Jason Dill, he OG, he be going crazy. Like, yeah, his designing and shit like that. Like, he make all the graphics and shit, all that shit. Yeah, yeah. So, like, when you get a uh, sponsor, did we send you about, like, the newest, like, drops that be having and shit? Like, New that, shit, shit, old shit. 
shit they just want to get rid of so they can just be saying a whole bunch of shit huh a lot of shit yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i've been hurt recently though i got yeah, I injured ask you about that yeah i, I got injured that shit fucked my shit up i what tore my bro? acl oh you tore i'm my acl my mcl my meniscus Damn. that shit trash so you can't skate <laughs> i can't skate right now the other day i did hit a kick flip though just for the one time yeah i seen it so how long you think it's gonna take for you to get back Shit, I got four more months to go in recovery. I got four more months. I'm gonna be back on the bitch. I know that shit. I can't tell me shit. No, you're gonna go hard on it. I'm gonna go hard for my fam. How the hell you tore it? So, uh, I was hitting this uh, switch 180 on the seven block. That shit was big, though. I can't even hold you. Like, and the same day I was doing that shit, I was like, I was trying to trick, and um, I'm trying to show I'm about to go for it. And like, I just feel like, like in my head that day, like, I felt like my axis was off, like just like some in my body, like yeah. my calculations was just off. And I was like, shit, but fuck it, I gotta do this shit. Like, nigga, I was working at this uh this landscaping company called Ed Castro. Yeah. And that shit wasn't talking about shit. Like it's just like if you work landscaping, you gonna work with some weird ass niggas. <laughs> you gonna work with some weird ass niggas. I'm talking about niggas that been to jail for this, that, and the third. That Niggas oh, all the way from you, like Oklahoma or some shit. for community service or some shit? No, 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 no. I was landscaping for a job. I was oh, trying to get a check were, right paying, quick because yeah. I was, I had like a whole plan. I was trying to move to Cali or whatever. Yeah. Before I got hurt, like literally like a, a say I was like the week after I got hurt yeah. was, was the, like the week I'd be packing up and basically moving getting ready to move, go to Cali. And then... Shit, I got hurt, and then everything just changed. That shit went yeah. crazy. And so after you heal up, you going back uh, out there, Cali stay? Oh yeah, I'm gonna go to Cali. I'm gonna go to Cali. Ah, I, I want to stay out there. I think I'm gonna stay. I want to stay out there. I don't know what my plans are, cause like I can't, I can plan that far ahead right now. But yeah. who knows where like life will take me? Like in like the next month, two months, three months, four months, yeah. type shit. You know what I'm saying? So, but I'm trying to go out back out there, and I definitely want to live out there. Yeah. One day. I mean, shit, y'all leave pretty much. There ain't gonna be no more skate culture. That's no. what I'm saying. I'm trying to. I'm. I just want to get the streets unlocked and make sure the streets safe. Like they got it. Like niggas know how to run shit. Yeah. And niggas is gone. You know what I'm saying? Like I ain't trying to just like, just lead the shit and just it just be dead. Yeah, yeah. Because if we don't do it, who else gonna do it? Yeah, you're right. You're right. Dang. Mm-hmm. So dang. So you can't like. You can't even like when you when you fucked up your leg and shit. How long you was you was in the hospital, right? Uh, I went to the hospital that same day. And it was fucked up because I had the motherfucking, or I didn't have to, but my friend had a show at the masquerade, the rock band trash can. Yeah. And I was talking about they got a show at the masquerade the same night. So I was just about to get the clip and then we was going to head to the show. Yeah. Tried to get the clip, fucked up my shit, and we headed to the hospital. Went to the hospital. They was like, oh, they didn't tell me my shit was fucked up automatically. They was like, okay, it's definitely like a you tore your fibby or some shit like that. Or like, no, you. You chipped your fibia, tibia or some shit. Yeah. And then I was like, okay, fuck. How long? Six to eight weeks. I was like, all right, bet. We straight. Good. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. All right. And then I come back for checkups and shit. And then they tell me it might be something internal. So I'm yeah. like, damn, I got to get some money to pay for MRI, this, that, and the third. So got that shit. And then pay for MRI. And they said the ACL, MCL, meniscus is fucked up. Yeah, uh, yeah. They were taxing on that surgery, huh? Taxing on the surgery, bro. But shout out to my mama. I love my mama. Yeah, yeah. She paid for the surgery. I love her so much. She gonna get that money back tenfold with a beach house. With a beach house. With a beach house. You know what I'm saying? With a Lambo. With whatever she yeah. want. I told her. She said she don't even want a beach house. So I'm like, I'm like, oh, that's straight. But I, when I got that beach house money, yeah, she doesn't know she gonna get anything that she want. You know what I'm saying? So when you like fucked it up, did you like get up and start walking on it, or you just automatically felt? Oh, I was hopping. Yeah, I was. The adrenaline was pumping, so I was like trying to get to the car as fast as I could. Yeah, so, so you I was like, know you like fucked up. I'm yeah. fucked up. I screamed, bro. My nigga Pat, my nigga Pat. We've been filming since we were like kids, bro. Yeah. It's my best friend. This nigga's never seen me been this hurt before. So yeah. I was just like, like what the fuck? Like nigga, we done hit some crazy ass shit. I'm talking about jumping off like two-story type yeah. shit like just going crazy like and i haven't ever been hurt like this before but that shit happened so it was like i was like fuck and i'm not the type of nigga to freak out at yeah. skate sessions or like if i don't get a trick or some shit but yeah. nigga this shit i had to freak i was like fuck fuck this shit 
Pat, what the fuck? I just fucked my shit up, Pat. Let's go, let's go. Yeah. He's a cameraman, so it's like, he's he filming. He know and he, just, he can't just not press record, like yeah. press record and turn it off. He got to capture the moment, but it's so sickening. You, know? you, you got to capture it, but it's so sickening. Like, you like, damn, like, or like you good? Like, oh shit, like trying to film that shit, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That shit crazy. You ain't worried about like you like fucked up something like real, real bad that you couldn't skate no more? I thought I, I thought I would. I thought I had fucked some shit up. Cause when I like, when I landed on it, I landed yeah. like, like collapsed on my left leg like that. Like all my weight collapsed on it. I heard, literally heard a, like a crunch. Ooh, and I was shit. like, oh shit. Like I fucked my shit up. Like I knew it, bro. Yeah, that was over with after that. that Nigga, crazy. that shit was fucked up. Yeah, you ain't scared to go back like so when you heal up, you ain't, you ain't gonna be scared to go back out there and skate on the lid. Oh no, we gonna yeah, we gonna take it over. It's gonna gradually build up. Like of course, like my confidence. I mean, my confidence in my skating is is great, but yeah. like starting back over from scratch type shit because it's gonna be basically like a year since I've skated when I get back on the board. Yeah, a year it been. Huh? It's gonna be a shit. year. Mm -hmm. And then mm. like I ain't been skating like it's gonna be a year, and mm. like. Yeah, when I get back on the board, I'm gonna be good. I'm gonna just take it slow though, cause I know I like to be snapping and going fast and hit airs and shit. Yeah. I just gotta, gotta take it slow. I gotta take it slow. Yeah, yeah. What's the um? What's the little dude that's in your own pretty game? Oh, is he in pretty game? I think it's Drew. Oh yeah, it's Drew James. He's sick. Yeah, that's man. my he nigga, bro. Sick. That nigga be sliding. Yeah. I ain't worried about it, bro. He be snapping. Yeah, he sponsored too, ain't he? Yeah, he got a couple sponsors. Um. Nike SB, he's sponsored by Nike SB. Um, almost skateboards, almost. he flow for almost, and um, I think oh yeah, Thunder Trucks and Spitfire Wheels and shit. Damn. And he got hellas now sponsors. Oh yeah, Skate Bomb. He got he got some shit going. He a young ass nigga. I'm like, oh damn. Yeah. Uh, seventeen, I think. Yeah, he young as hell. Yeah, really, everybody in the game young, honestly. Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah we all young. We some young niggas. Y'all been how long y'all been skating for? I've been skating for ten years. Ten? Yeah, I'm twenty now. I just turned twenty. Thanks, you started. At I 10. ain't just turned twenty, but I yeah. yeah, yeah. Since I was ten years old, these niggas probably been skating for like I don't even know. But a long six, day. seven, four, five, six, seven. Goddamn. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. How did y'all begin the sponsors? Do they like reach out to y'all or y'all reach out to them? Both ways. Both it way. goes both ways. Yeah. Be yeah, yeah on, but on Instagram. Yeah, it could work like that, but sometimes I'm, I'm not. if you're tagging on Instagram, the folks probably not going like come in your DMs, most likely. But um like we reached out to some folks, like we got some emails, like my nigga Drizzy got an email for this company called Five Burrow. Five Burrow. He oh, know yeah. the dude. Yeah, yeah. So he sent us some footage and he was like, Oh shit, I fuck with your shit. I'm start seeing your boards. They out of New York. So they boom and boom, they start sending in boards. Damn. Rowan Fire Burrow. My nigga uh Drew hit up. He got some emails. Nike SB shit, boom and boom. Start sending him some shit. You ever heard of Diamond? Diamond Supply? Yeah. Yeah. They got shoes now. <laughs> Drizzy hit up, yeah, bro. Did I was like, yo. right with on um, Nike. Uh on um, what's his name? Diamond? Which Nikki Diamond? Diamonds? Yeah, yeah, Nikki yeah, Diamond. Yeah, 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 yeah. They did, they did. Yeah, yeah. I think he yeah, dropped the limited homie. on things. Yeah, so what? They dropped the limited. <laughs> Yeah, shoes. yeah, I did see that. I did see that. Hey, y'all ain't, ain't he ain't seen y'all some of them? No, 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 no. When you when you sponsor, you like you get certain things. Like sometimes if you like if you up, yeah. like if you good, your your spot certified, you can ask for some things. Be like, yo, like if you got like a good relationship, say with the team manager or some yeah. shit that's sending you shit, you'd be like, yo, send me this, send me this. Let me try. I'm trying to wear this. Like you know my swag. Like I'll be hitting up the nigga from Night Kids B and be like, bro, yeah. talking about the owner. No, no, no. It's the team manager. Oh, they the have team a team manager. manager for like the skateboarders and shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, because it's a big ass company. Big ass company. Yeah. Uh -huh. I hit the nigga up and be like, I need some like five shoes. Like, don't send me no bullshit. I need some five shoes. And he be like, yeah, I got you. I need the swag. Like, I got the dunks. These shit's hard. Yeah, you know. These shit's the velvet. Yeah, the velvet. I'm saying, dunks. what they tell you, like, they go on the website and be like, man, pick whatever you want. They ain't like that. Mm, wait, say it again. Like, he, like you know, he'd be like, go on the website and be like, mm -hmm. you can just pick whatever you want and just send shit, it to him. I wish it was like that. That shit was like, that's like some Christmas shit. Oh, yeah. Like, be like, so hey, yeah. you like, it can be like that yeah. though. If you, if you say, if you am, yeah, if you am, yeah, it's like, oh, it's like that. It's yeah. like that. If you pro, of course, it's like that. You get to go to the Nike SB warehouse in Portland, Oregon, and shit, shit like that. Yeah, you, you good. But if you flow, you're going to take what you get. Yeah. I'm flow. I'm going to take what I get. Yeah.
But I'm still trying to ask for what I get. Yeah, yeah, so just be like, like, just send me some fashion, you know. Yeah, I'll be the like, package. send me the donk, send me the goddamn tum tum. Says if you can, blah blah blah. He'll surprise me. It's usually be my swag, like it be the yeah. shit that I fuck with. Yeah, yeah. So you did say you be making a lot of guys in your own clothes. Did oh, you yeah, wear like yeah. some pants or some shit a while back? Yeah, I was gonna wear them here, but it was calling my name in some different type of way. But so I got this on the ship. I made that vest that I have showed you. Yeah. I made these pants. That's like these reflector pants, these 3M reflectors. Yeah. Niggas is like following that shit. Niggas see that shit. That shit crazy. Like I'll see like other folks that I have some shit that's similar to that. But yeah. it's like this shit was fire. I made that shit last year. Last year. Um, what you got your own sewing machine? No. I wish I had a sewing. I don't even know how to use a sewing machine. I just do that shit hand. So I'm like embroidering shit by hand? Hand, what this hey, hand, bro. all the shit on the jacket, and hand, and I How was just like, took you to do that. It take like a nigga, it take episodes, <laughs> a couple of days. <laughs> it take episodes and days. I be just watching shit and just doing it, just like, oh shit. When you all boy. right, next one, boom, 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 and I'm halfway done with a letter and shit. I'm like, damn, Man, that's it's cool though. Mean. It give me time to think and like relax. Like it's it's motivating to me. Like I like it. I'm like, damn. Yeah, yeah. Like, like one day I'm gonna be able to just sit in an office with a team and be like. Here I drew this up. Yeah. I have fabrics in front of me, shirts and shit, and be like, okay, I want this on this. Boom, boom, boom. Pin this to this. Boom, boom, boom. Send it off and like send me that back double type shit. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. that would be pretty dope. That's yeah, that shit gonna be fire, bro. How you feel about the new um, Kennesaw skate park, the one they recently built? Oh, I heard that shit fire. My nigga yeah, Juicy be skating. That. No, 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 no. What are you talking about? Swift? Yeah, Swift. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you were talking about the Canton. They got another they got one. Another one. Yeah, they just built another one in Canton or some shit like that. That's that it. shit look pretty cool. Like, Drizzy be skating there all the Canton time. In Kennesaw? A little past Kennesaw. I can't even hold you. Yeah, a little what past. They built it this year? Yeah, they just built that shit a couple months ago. But the Swift Park, I fuck with that shit. Because they got, like, the impact there. They got the the ramps, the A-frame, the rail. The rail kind of boo-boo. Yeah, right. I can't even hold you, but... I'm just there for the impact, honestly. Yeah, yeah. Maybe the ledges and shit. Hell yeah. yeah you, why y'all never throw contests up there? They be I wanted them? to. I hit up Ambush. I was like, uh, I'm trying to do something with y'all, but they recently closed their skate shop. Ambush? Which is like, yeah, which is another reason why you know how you said like skateboarding dying down and Damn, shit. Like, yeah, I, I see it. Shit. Hazard closed, <laughs> Ambush closed, Stratosphere might, might close, who knows, or Ruin might close, who knows, but like, that shit crazy. No that's, yeah, that's crazy. That shit no crazy. Clothes. They just an online store now. For real? Yes. Yeah, so they closed down. I was trying to do it before they closed down, but they was talking about something, so maybe we might end up doing it, maybe, but I don't know. Because I'm pretty sure they'll charge, because Swift kind of you know, strict. Yeah, they Little are kind of Kennesaw City. Yeah, they no smoking out there. They don't want to do it. Like, shit. shit. You got yeah, to yeah, cut yeah, the yeah. Especially yeah, yeah. you charging? Shit, mm-hmm. they ain't going to let it happen. I yeah, tried reaching out to them. They're like, nah, you got to pay us. I think it was like $1,200 to rent it. To throw a, a couple, contest. A couple hours. They ain't even the whole day. I think they were like four hours. My fucking ass. Hell no. And they were like, if you, when I, was, I have still got the email. They were like, if you trying to um, still do it. Just, just pull up on some quick shit and be like, yo, here, everybody here. What you want? Like, let me I don't see how they going to see them unless they got somebody up there working. And gonna yeah, yeah, they, they do. They, they do, got bro. bro in a little cart. Whipping, oh, yeah. he whipping around the whole park. That park weird though. You think you'll be skating, skating out of Kennesaw Park, and then you just chilling, like just looking at like what you about to hit, and you look over to your right, you might see a nigga riding a bike with a Confederate flag yeah. on the back of it. <laughs> like God damn, nigga yeah. just trying to skate. I ain't even come out here for that. Yes, I'm like, oh go. shit, <laughs> that nigga about to get packed out if he come over here with the crazy shit. Yeah, you go see no shit like that on the south side. Yeah, hell no, nah. niggas ain't doing that shit over here. Fuck no. Yeah, like the Riverdale skate park. Yeah, I fuck with that shit. I can't wait to skate when I get back on that shit. I'm gonna be on that shit. I think it's the slit a little too small. You think so? Yeah. To compare to like the bro running shit. Yeah, and, um, if they if they had access to do a bigger park, that shit would be fine. But it's nice. It's something for the skaters. Like, hell yeah. Them mm-hmm. niggas ain't got shit over here, but this. Everything That's why I'm glad north. they built something. Like you say, bro running Swift, everything really up north. Mm-hmm. Damn, that's crazy. I ain't know Ambush just got them closed down. That's crazy. Yes, bro. Might as well make shit. Might as well make your own store. Thought about it. Definitely thought about it. If one more skate shop closed, might have to do something. Saying what is like one left? 
Kill, Nah Ruin, Stratosphere, Gate Pug. That's all I know as of now. Shit, if Ambush is gonna close, more likely the other one's gonna close down. Cause yeah, Ambush is like the out. biggest one out of all of them. It's yeah, so from every cool. fucking thing. Mm -hmm. They used to tax though, I ain't gonna lie. Nah, they had some deals though. They, they definitely had some deals, like, yeah. The good boards, oh, they're gonna tax on them. Oh, yeah, yeah, you gotta eat up for them. Hell yeah, man. They crazy. Fucking ambush closed down. But hell yeah, man. What up in the state? So, what you got in store for like 2018 for like the pretty game, the movement? You, ain't, mm. you ain't got new merch dropping, anything? We got the winter collection dropping soon, dropping January 15th. Oh, you got a date for it, January 15th? Yeah, we got the January. Yeah, we got to set the dates. We got to set a time. Goddamn, 12 p.m. Eastern time. Do you know how many, like, items going to drop? Or you don't know yet? Ooh, it'll be a surprise. Surprise. It's, yeah, it'll be a surprise. There's going to be some items on that bitch. Got to get some windbreakers. Yes. Yeah, got to have a windbreaker, man. Yo, I'm, about, bro, I'm about to get it. I'm about to take it. <laughs> you don't with these windbreakers. Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. It's like nah, I used to, nah, I used to fuck with windbreakers when I was like when I was younger. I used to fuck with windbreakers. Yeah. Like I used to always have them. Like in high school, I'd be like, it's windbreaker season. So like whenever it get cold, so I hit the thrift store. Yeah. Get a bunch of windbreakers. A bunch of windbreakers. I like I like the ones that like the ones that Pink Dolphin be doing. Like don't windbreakers. You never seen mm -hmm. them? Don't be yeah, just dope. Yeah. But they be taxing on me. Yeah. In a way, I got tired of them though, because I just felt like they was like childish and shit. Not childish, but like yeah. It's not in the sense of fashion that I like to wear. Yeah, yeah. So it's just like beanies, hoodies, shirts. Yeah, yeah. I like other stuff. I just I'm not into windbreakers and pocket tees. So if you're thinking, like, if you listen to this, like, and you fuck with pretty SB, you ain't getting no windbreakers ever, <laughs> and you ain't getting no pocket oh, tees. Lord. Yeah, no, niggas man. gonna come out with fake wind, pretty windbreakers and fake <laughs> pretty pocket tees because we ain't making them. Damn. It ain't yeah. no store sale like your your merchandise. No, no, not yet, not yet. You don't yet. think of like gotten like selling it to any stores anytime soon? I yeah, I definitely. This I, I got this one store I forgot and like I don't know. It was this one store. It's at a mall or some shit. But the shit they were selling was lame because they was trying to like buy some shit. But I mean, I might sell it to them. But I don't like I don't, selling this. Like it'd be a lot of stores from inside the malls. They were reaching out, but I don't yeah. like selling shit on the mall because then everybody gonna rock it. Yeah, I yeah, know, and the I store they that. had was kind of lame. Like, they didn't have no fire shit up in that bitch. I was like, I should look like, I can't even hold it. Sometimes they'd be like, yeah, drop the, like, 50 shirts. Then they don't even pay you. They'd be like, whatever we sell, we just break you half. I'm like, nah, hell. No, no, that, that's not coming. That's not <laughs> They be trying you like that because they think you don't know the business, you know, so mm -hmm. they just straight try you like that. Like, they like, they say you sell your shirt for 20. Sometimes yeah. they'll try you. I'll be like, should we give you $4 per shirt? Like, oh no, like, yeah, no. I'm gonna like, send you the quote and you goddamn send it back. The thing like, is, yeah, like, they don't like, do that. Yeah. Like, you, when you email, you get to a certain point, they be like, all right, you gotta come in, they have a meeting. And when you mm -hmm. get there, where well, you're gonna see all the fuck shit, they're gonna try you. Like, right in your face, you be like, shit, $4. Yeah. You're yeah, like, yeah. you gonna take it, you're gonna be like, hell no, of course not. Mm -hmm. Shit. I, yeah, they got us fucked up. Yeah. Nah, they don't be like, like, shit, got I pay way more than that to make the shirt. And you try mm -hmm. my $4. Yeah, they be trying to cap up everything. Yeah, I, can't do that. I don't do malls. I did I like um, status life. Oh, status life? Yeah, when it was first. I did fuck with status life. Uh, yeah, I yeah. did it first when it was on Peter Street. Street. Though. Yeah. You oh, know? yeah. When they first had it on, when he first opened it up in Peter Street. The very first, first time? Yeah. Because he moved that shit. Mm -hmm. And yeah, he moved, I don't know, to some warehouse or some shit. You ever yeah. been to it? I've been to the warehouse, like the skate spot. I ain't never been. Oh, yeah, yeah, so yeah, 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 right. They got yeah, the stores in yeah, there. Yeah, he did have a shop. Yeah. I didn't know they were selling shit out there. The shit just kind of looked like a skate park. I was like, what? Yeah. I fuck with the skate park, though. I think, uh, what's the name? Stevie Williams. He the owner of that shit. Yeah, shout out Stevie. Bro, I seen his ass smoking with, um, I think his partner outside when they first made the, uh, the store in Peter Street. Mm -hmm. Smoking. And I was he like, he real, bro. I fuck with Stevie. Yeah. Like, he, like, he real, he cool as fuck. I met him like years ago on like a tour. Yeah. He was doing in Atlanta. It was at the skate park called Progressive. Yeah. And then so yeah, I'm just waiting in line trying to get my autograph and shit because they all getting posters and shit to kids, getting your autograph from yeah. skaters and shit. I see Stevie and shit. I'm with my nigga TC and he dapped TC up and shit. He was like, yeah. He was like, we was like the only two niggas he dapped up. And yeah. he dapped me up, brought me in. He was like, yeah, bro, hell yeah, da 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 da. da. And I was like, oh yeah, shit. He real. I had just like, just for the fact that he did that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, just cause like, the nigga like, just like a black skateboarder. Like, if you a black skateboarder, you gonna look at Steve Williams and be like, yeah, this nigga, this, 
it's that nigga. Like he, yeah. he put on for us. He put on for them folks. So I had like I told you, I had seen him. I had went to a little like when they first had it at Peter Street. It was a store down the street called Ink Streetwear, some shit. Mm-hmm. And they were trying to buy my clothes, and I had a meeting that day. Then he ended up like we ain't, I ain't like the deal, so I told him no. Now I was walking like back down the street to the parking lot. He was outside smoking, and he was like he was like you look like you skate. And I looked at him like, oh shit, what the fuck? He's like, oh, you Stevie. I, yeah. Then, yeah, yeah. And I, I, I had my gear with me in my book bag because I was showing it to the other store. And I'm like, shit, I, like, I got a streetwear brand. Like, I just started showing it. Yeah, yeah, then he like, the next day he like, shit, just come in. I might I might not be there, but like, give it to my partner. We're going to start selling it. Then that's how I started selling like that shit. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah, that's fine. They're like, yeah, he was looking out though. He like, fuck yeah, that shit. Yeah, shout out Stevie. Damn sure if he gonna do something and hell if yeah. he gonna be in Atlanta, he gotta have some shit in Atlanta. God damn, we yeah. can't just be here and not give it back to the little niggas. Hell yeah. That nigga get some gear. Put it on. I don't think, like you said, I don't think they even sell those shirts no more at the little status life shop. Mm-mm. No, it's closed. They closed it? Yeah. Damn, what the fuck? They closed everything now. Like, hell man, yeah. Shit dead. This shit is dying now, though. <laughs> in a way, it is, it's bro. Over. But I don't want to say it because I don't want to. But you gotta I don't want to put it into existence. Down here, like when my little brother used to skate, it was a lot of. Cause he was he was skating a lot, and there was a lot of skaters around here. Then, like next thing you know, like to right now, you don't see nobody. It's because some. I feel like some of them young skaters they grow up, yeah, like in a sense, like, like they think they grow up and like, oh, I don't have to skateboard. I can do this and do this too. Yeah. Make a profession and shit, and the niggas that really love it gonna keep doing it. Or actually, or some of them probably think like this: like, yeah, we getting older, we ain't making so much. With like, fuck yeah. it, hell yeah. So that I be like, damn. Mm-hmm. Who's your uh, skaters that you they inspire you when you were young? Uh, Stevie Williams, Tommy Sandoval, David Gonzalez, Tony Hawk. Tony Hawk. You ever want to get in his game? Hell yeah, I'm going to be in a Tony Hawk game. <laughs> Fuck it, I might have my own game. Y'all but, man. um, yeah, them niggas and, uh, Brian Herman, Andrew Reynolds. Um, yeah, them niggas and then the niggas I was skating around when I was little. You ever heard of Laid? Like, hell yeah. What they used to be on this side. I was on Laid. Bro, I was, we was yes. to do a collab, like, shit. I when I first started my brand and yeah. I found out one of them got locked up. Or something like Grim. that. Yeah. Grim. Free Grim. I was Still talking free Grim. Him, bro. We, we were chilling and shit. And then we had like, we was like drawing up some like dope ass, you know, collabs and shit. Mm-hmm. And next day, you know, I ain't hear from him. And I, I found out from a partner, he like, man, that man locked up. Yeah, man. Free Grim, bro. He's still locked, he's still up, locked up, up too. Up? Yeah, bro. What the fuck you do? Man, crazy. Just some crazy shit. But that free that man, bro. That crazy. Shout out to Late. Late forever, bro. Yeah. Them mm-hmm. niggas really like, them. they showed me like. I think they started off. Hmm? They started everything, didn't it? Late. The first yeah, they started a lot of shit. shit like yep. that skate Atlanta. company on the south side. All black on. niggas. They was putting niggas they on. Put... They was giving niggas shirts. Yeah, they was. They was goddamn throwing contests and shit. And niggas was hating on them. Niggas was hating on them, but they, niggas kept going. You know what I'm saying? Like, them niggas kept snapping. And then, I don't know, it kind of just died down. And it lasted like, what, two years? Something like that, yeah. Yeah. Like I was that. fifteen when I got on late. Yeah. Yep. Been a minute then. Man, that shit crazy. Yeah, after that, I think after he got locked up, everything really just died down. Yeah, something like that. That's shit. That when I started my shit. Bro. Yeah. Cause we were finna do a collab. Cause I've been doing him. Like he said, he's down south side. I think what's we I met him at Brook Run. He used to be there a lot. Mm-hmm. That's where I met him. Then um, yeah, we started working on a collab, but then I find out, like I said, he got locked up. And this shit was dead, bro. I'm like, fuck. Damn. Hell yeah, man. Shit crazy. Oh, yeah, yo, one more question. When you first got down and started skateboarding and shit, did anybody call you a poser? Um, when you very first started skateboarding? My very first started skating, yeah. no. No? No, not a poser, but no poser. my folks, like black kids I knew. Be yeah. like funny you and shit. Oh, white boy. Not even black kids. <laughs> I knew it'd be like family members and shit. Like, oh, white boy. You done went to Atlanta and got turned up by them white boys. Like, <laughs> what the fuck? You nigga skating on shit, bro. What the fuck? Nigga, let's go play football. Like, da, 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 da. you need to move down back here. You need to move back down here. Like, I wasn't trying to hear none of that shit. Oh, yeah. I ain't care. Like, when you're a skater, like, you don't care, bro. You just be 
Like, like when I was little, yeah. before I started skating, like, I was a smart little nigga or whatever. I knew what I knew or whatever and tried to run off with it or whatever. Yeah. Like, if I know something, I run off with that shit. So I knew what I knew, and I was like, okay, when I get older, when I get old enough, I'm going a, I'm to a get a job at Publix. Yeah. And I'm going to work, 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 and I'm going to be, so like, 14, you can get a job of shit. I'm going to get a job at Publix, and I'm going to work and work and do this and do this and do that. Yeah. As soon as I started skateboarding, all that shit went out the window. Damn. My mama was like, what? Then you want to get a job and do this? I was like, yeah, shit. But I started skating. I started skating. That was your first job, Publix? Oh, hell no. No, no, oh, no. Yeah. I didn't work there. Oh, like, yeah, I, I could have, but I didn't want to because I started skating. That's what I'm saying. I'm like, fuck that shit. I'm going to start skating. Well, yeah, I was like, fuck that shit. Hopefully, God, now you take off with that shit. So yeah, that yeah. yeah. I got to. That's all I got, bro. That's all I want to get. Hell yeah, man. I think that was the last question, though. Shit, you have it here, man. We, we got down with Pretty Gang Reef, and that'd be it, man. Yeah, Pretty SB, Pretty SB the Gang, Pretty Gang, PSB, Pretty Skate Bitch. The SB stand for Skate Bitch. Shout out all my niggas in Pretty Gang. Pat, Richie, Drizzy, Tico, T-Hump, Audie Mons, Trey K, TC. Get everybody. I got to get everybody. Yeah, my nigga me. David. My nigga David and his lady got down. Motherfucking got down. My nigga Matt. Shit, I can't forget nobody. My mama, shout out to my mama. It's more than 20 of y'all? Huh? It's more than 20? It's a lot of niggas. Yeah, it's it's not it's not more than 20. Because everybody pretty, but not everybody pretty gang. You so know how do you get pretty? You gotta, you gotta, you gotta earn your stripes. You gotta earn your stripes. Like, we not just being like, oh shit, Arab, you in here, you snap, you in here, come on. Yeah, niggas be like trying to be weird or like trying to come up like nowadays it's weird shit like I just like I just like genuine like solid niggas around me like yeah. genuine do it from the heart we gonna do this shit we gonna work as a team we gonna get it from the bottom type shit like yeah. not niggas that's trying to come in and cut cut some of this shit you know what yeah. I'm saying like I'm pretty sure a lot of people hit you in your DM like hey let me be pretty game trying to skate with us or trying to do this I'm like, I'm like how do I get in pretty game I'm like Everybody pretty, like everybody. That's what I just telling niggas. Everybody pretty. That's facts. Just everybody just pretty. Supportive. Yeah, yeah. Everybody, supportive. nigga, you pretty. Yeah. But not everybody pretty gang. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like yeah. I fuck with everybody, but like just don't disrespect or goddamn. What's the word? Uh, what's the word? Goddamn, I forgot the word. But just don't goddamn. Don't talk to talk. Don't talk to talk. Yeah. Yeah, I say that. Don't talk to talk. Shout out my mama, goddamn! I love my mama. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for my mama. Yeah. Shout out my mama, single mama. Oh, Fuck man. my daddy. <laughs> nah, I'm playing. <laughs> but yeah, shout out my mama. Shout out my pop too. You ain't got anything you want to promote? Anything? Uh, what Pretty S B Winter Collection dropping soon. Name of that shit's called Pretty Cold. Cause y'all niggas gonna be pretty cold out here. Pretty cold. And then, um, yeah, man, we got a whole lot of shit coming 2018. From the skaters, from from skating to the videos. To the shows, to the clothing, to the goddamn, to the music, to the goddamn, to the top. Everything. Honestly. Yeah, everything. Pretty everything. Pretty everywhere. Tell them where they can find you at. Oh, Instagram. Uh, on Twitter. Instagram. Pretty SB. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. Follow follow the gang, pretty.sb. And then follow me, pretty.reef. On Instagram and on Twitter, Sharif underscore Grady. If I get on my Snapchat, Reefy2. Goddamn, with two Ys. But yeah, bro. Appreciate from having got down. Yeah, we good, you good. First motherfucking shit. We're gonna make this shit rock. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to, yeah, you're gonna you fuck with it or you don't, you fuck. fuck with it or you're not, goddamn. What you see is what you get. Yeah. Pretty game shit. That. That'd be it, y'all.